hello queens i'm back today with another full transformation video i'm gonna be showing y'all how i got this full look with my hair and my makeup so we're jumping straight into the video i'm working with the brand and color wig and this is the unit that they sent me i went ahead and plucked and bleached the knots as well as washed the hair this is the color that the wig came in and it is so pretty y'all this is the result after i did my customization i went ahead and put the wig on my head to make sure sure that it could fit me properly and now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off camera and I'm gonna come back and we're jumping straight into the installation process so I'm taking my even lace bond spray and I'm using it to spray the edge of this lace I'm making sure I really press this spray into the lace so that it could adhere to my head and to do so I'm just using the end of one of my makeup brushes I think the way that I do this application it's just a whole lot quicker and a whole lot cleaner which is why I prefer to do it this way now that the lace has been sprayed down I'm gonna be taking my elastic band and I'm just gonna tie it as tightly around the edge of my wig as possible just so everything can melt while i'm waiting on everything to dry i'm gonna go in with my curling wand and just use it to press everything back i didn't know how i wanted to style this hair i just i know that i didn't want it to be in my face so i just went ahead and made sure that everything was laid back and once i'm finished with that the spray will be dry so i went ahead and removed my elastic band and this is what it's looking like before i've applied any makeup as y'all can see it's it's laid okay it's laid but it needs to be a little bit more laid so i'm going in with my cream foundation and i'm just pressing it on the edge of that lace now it's time to get into these baby hairs and i decided to work section by section so i'm cutting the front pieces first and then i'm just gonna curl them with my mini flat iron and i'm gonna take a little bit of some got to be glue gel and apply it to the roots and just swoop them in place Now that the baby hairs are complete, I'm just going to play around with the hair a little bit to see how I want to style it. But I decided that I wanted to do a middle part because it seems like I rarely do a middle part. So I'm taking the end of one of my rat tail combs and I'm using it to part my hair down the middle. And let me tell y'all something about me, okay? I cannot part a wig to save my life. Like, I can part it when it's on a mannequin head, but for some reason when it's on my head it just it takes me a long time plus i don't have a mirror so i was really struggling i ended up having to go off camera to kind of fix it a little bit but it worked out so now i'm going in with my curling wand and i'm using it to lay the hair down Thank you. 
the front of my hair was looking a little frizzy so I decided to tame some of the pieces I'm brushing out the front section and then I'm just gonna spray it with some water and some conditioner and I'm gonna run my fingers through it so that it can define the curls I went off camera and completed the other side of my hair as y'all can see and this is what the style looks like it's so cute y'all I'm really pretty I just be need my hair to be dead but this is what the hair is looking like real nice real cute for fall so now that I done slayed this head baby y'all already know we getting into the makeup so come on let's go get on up I'm taking these hair clips that they actually sent me in a pack thank y'all for these clips and I'm gonna use them to section my hair out of the way now that i'm finished pinning back the hair we're just going to be stepping right into the eyebrows and y'all already know since my hair is lighter i decided to try to make my eyebrows lighter as well so i'm using my la colors dark brown eyebrow pencil to outline my eyebrows and y'all already know my makeup routine is custom okay i do it to fit me and me only so if you want to follow this routine you can but if it's my face so i'm outlining my brows and i'm only going to be outlining like the back of them i don't really like to outline the front of my eyebrows because i feel like they're already pretty thick in my opinion so i like to keep them the same size that they are Although I outlined my brows with this pencil, I did not want to fill them in with it because it's still a little too dark. So I decided to take a brown eyeshadow and use it to fill in my brows instead. To fill in the front of my eyebrows, I'm going in with this ash brown type of eyeshadow and i mixed it with a little bit of orange just so it could have a gradient fade and this is the color that really matched my hair y'all this color was like spot on but i didn't want to fill all of my brows in with it because it's a bit too light but now i'm taking some got to be glue gel and i'm using it to mold my eyebrow hairs down To clean up underneath my arch, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer and it's in the shade 07. To clean up the remainder of the way, I'm going to be going in with my RK by Kiss Concealer and I believe it's in the shade Toast.
get into these eyebrows honey okay these eyebrows are looking real good so now i'm going in with my elf camo concealer and it's in the shade white and i'm just using it as an eyeshadow base so i went ahead and applied it all over my lids To start this eyeshadow look off, I'm going in with this dark brown eyeshadow from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I'm just pressing this in my crease using this dense eyeshadow brush. To help diffuse this color out, I'm going in with another eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and it's this reddish orange shade. It's like the reddish shade in the palette y'all and i'm just blending it above the first color that we used using this blending brush now i'm going back in with that dark brown eyeshadow and i'm just reapplying it to my crease to build up the color a little bit more to start off my lid shades, I'm going in with this bright orange shade from my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette. And I'm just packing this on the edge using this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Since I didn't show y'all the shade on camera, then I will have the shade name in the description box down below for anybody that has the palette. But after I have this shade all packed on, I'm going to be going in with the yellow shade in front of it. And it also comes from the Be Perfect Carnival XL palette and I'll have it in the description box as well. To finish off my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner. Now I'm just going to blend out the end of that liner using some black eyeshadow. Moving on to my face, I went ahead and cleaned my face off camera. So now I'm just going in and applying my moisturizer. I like using the Pond's Moisturizer, the one with the blue cap, the blue packaging. And this is the only thing that I use to prime my skin. As I've told y'all in my previous videos that I've recorded on myself, anytime I do my makeup, I never plan to wear it for too long. I'm just really doing it for the purpose of this video and to go out and run a few errands. But it's going to be on for like two hours at the most. So I don't really have to do too much priming. And now I'm going in with my foundation. This is the Fit Me Foundation in the shade Nutmeg and I like to focus it on my flaws and then I just go in and blend it out with my fingers To highlight my face, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer and it's in the shade 07. I like to take some of my RK by Kiss Concealer in the shade Toast and just apply it to my under eyes because it'll help everything blend. To blend all the concealer out, I'm going in with my damp Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to press it all in place.
to set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder and it's in the shade Golden Door. I'm going in with my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Black Coffee and I'm using it as a bronzer. To set the remaining areas of my face, I'm going in with another Black Radiance Press Powder and it's in the shade Rich Mahogany. I went ahead and applied my lashes off camera to save me some time. Now I'm just going in with a foundation brush and I'm using it to press the powder into my skin. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with some setting spray and move on to my under eyes. So I'm taking this Wet n Wild black eyeliner pencil and I'm using it to line my waterline. I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm just sweeping this across my lower lash line but I'm only going to be running it through halfway. To highlight my face I'm going in with an eyeshadow from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I actually decided to highlight my cheeks today y'all. If you watched my last video that I did on myself then you know that I normally don't do this but I've been doing it lately girl we've been having fun. So last but not least it's time to do these lips so I'm taking my LA Colors Dark Brown eyebrow pencil and I'm using this to outline my lips because I will be doing an ombre lip so I'm going to outline the entirety of my lips first and then I'm going to go back in and fill in the edges. Now I'm taking this lip gloss from the brand She and I'm just going to work this in the center of my lips. I kind of had to layer it on just to build up the color. Now that my makeup is complete, we're going to tend to this hair real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove these clips and just fluff the hair out a little bit with my fingers. And that'll be the finished look, y'all. I think this hair paired so pretty with this makeup. I absolutely love this unit, y'all. It was so thick and y'all know I love me some curly hair. Plus this color, it was just, it was giving everything it was supposed to give. It reminded me of SZA. It was giving me scissor. Okay, I felt real scissors with this hair. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I tried to show y'all my outfit so y'all can see why I did my makeup, how I did it. But, I just, I'm too short, y'all. I couldn't show y'all the full thing. But, the girls that get it, get it. And, the girls that don't, don't. And, I was looking real cute. So, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, if you would like to shop this hair, make sure you click all the links in the description box. Bye-bye, queens.